how to build LED clusters the easy way. It's already hard enough to put two or three LEDs together as a little indicator lamp. Try six or seven or even more. I'll show you how to do it. Firstly I got a test rig where I can put the LEDs in like this for example. Prevents them from falling over. LED one. Fold over the LED legs, ensure polarity is correct. Halfway through, I do a quick test. Yep, polarity is fine. See the LEDs go. Keep going. LED 4 and 5 Quick test, the polarity test again Yeah, still on step Good This is of course what Alco Engineering LED 6 and LED 7. This particular lamp I make is for 110 volts DC, but they are easy enough to assemble for any voltage or 240 volts AC, etc. Standoffs. Blocking diet, DC it's always good practice even to put a blocking diet in there, AC uh, you put even a series diet in the mains supply to limit power dissipation in the series resistor. Okay push the LEDs out of the rig sit in like this so they don't fall out, it's actually quite handy. Then where would we be without our third hand? 6K8 resistors. And we hold the LEDs in there and assemble these two. One. So, next step is I use a standard B22. It's an English fitting we have in New Zealand. The lamps just get I'm taking the old bulb out. Lamps get put in.
Not too sure how well it comes out on the camera, but we'll have a crack at it otherwise. Some of this. Okay, turn away the excess. There you go. 110 volts LED cluster. Amazingly, a piece of 25 mil conduit pipe will actually press fit into the B22 fitting, and it yields a nice assembled LED lamp. This particular one is 110, but it can be made for 230, 1. 27 volts, whatever. Of course, very important to mark the voltage, current, and the date in the assembler if you want to. But the yeah, voltage is important. Polarity if needed. And test. Uh, this is my test rig. Run from a 230 to 110 volt isolating transformer. And there it goes.